Hello guys and welcome to episode 35 of my Total War 3 Kingdoms 8 Princes playthrough playing as Sir Ma Leong on very hard difficulty. Today we are going to be attacking Dong Wu and taking that commandery and we're hopefully going to be handing out some land so that we can finally sort out our domain which is apparently in chaos again <laughs> which is not good uh, but we can hopefully sort it out this turn if we are in range to take more settlements. So let's see, shall we? I think Sir Ma Wei is maybe in range to attack Sir Ma Lun. Give it a go. Yes, he is. Perfect. It's gonna be a battle of brothers. Because we've got Sir Ma Wei, Sir Ma Ying, and Sir Ma Lun. All in this battle. Pretty crazy. No trebuchets on their side. All night battle and jump straight in. Gonna be a lot of trees. Since we're right in the middle. Oh, never mind. We were right in the middle of a load of trees, but apparently we've got the lumber yard map, which is out in the open. Cool. Well, that's fine. We've got two legendary characters on our side. Wisdom of the River debuff. Is that all he gets? Pretty enough. Names of the Phoenix Fort, Samoe. We have Shi Chao here as well. And let's just put these into loose formation, have them set up behind. Get the spearmen on the flanks for us. Let's just have them back a little bit so they don't get shot at. And where's their cav going to be on the right flank? I'll have three units of our own cav on the right, one on the left. Let's start the battle. I don't know why I left these at the front, but I guess that's fine for now. <laughs> uh, let's just pile our shots into the Onyx Dragons. Right, so I may as well actually just run these forwards. Let's just put them into turtle formations and uh, spread them out like so. And I guess I'll probably just do this. Cool. And where is Sir Malun himself? Is he wounded or something? It's not in the battle. I assume he's wounded. I'm oh, doing a lot of damage anyway. He might be hidden, that's another thing. Right, I'm gonna wanna fire uh, probably this right hand side heavy repeating crossbows. Right, let's just charge that cav. Have our cav move out on the flanks. I was hoping for a duel, possibly. Sema Lun and Sema Wei, I think that would have been really cool. Never mind. There's Saber Cav taking a full charge there. You just saw how fast the, the uh, Cataphracts were moving there. No chance for them. Crazy. Oh my Onyx Dragons there are taking a beating. That's not good. Oh, did I give him the sword? No, I didn't. He's okay though, so much I. Or Chao is that? Yeah, Chao. Or Shi Chao, sorry. Not Soma. Alright, Bian Baihu. Here I come. Sema Wei is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, Sema Lun is here. Okay. There he is. Yeah, he's hidden. He was hidden, at least. Not anymore. Sema Wei is going to kill him off. Just imagine him screaming, Brother! 
face me. <laughs> like There's some cool story between the brothers. The Onyx Dragon is like one of them left. <laughs> Ah yes, of course, because some other some other one has that like, crazy leadership, doesn't he? Oh, there he goes. Damn, he he done for. Oh, and that's the other one dead. Alright, let's kill Shi Hui Yu. And uh, it looks like for the most part we've already won. Just gotta run them down. Oh, ho, ho, the Califrax coming through there. They must have done so much damage in that charge because they all routed just as they came in. Oh boy. That was uh, pretty incredible. Nice CD battle for us. It would be nice to have kind of some cool intro if you have brothers ever go up against each other, but <laughs> oh well. We can make our own stories. And my way there, in all his anger, takes out Sir Malun. But Sir Malun survives to fight another day. A heavenly sword from Bian Baihu. I mean, I may as well start executing these people at this rate. He is really good though. Uh, I guess we may as well execute him. And we'll release her. We won't be able to recruit him ourselves. And I kind of want that sword. So now I can give the sword to... One of our leaders here, like Ren Taiwan. There you go, have a heavenly sword. Cool. Uh, we have somebody who needs to level up. They're my fan. Probably going to go for mobility. That is fine. Okay, and we're still replenishing with Samaju. So we're just going to put him into encamp stance, I think. Actually. No, I'm not going to do that. Main reason I'm not doing that is because otherwise I'll forget to move him. Since we're already like dealing with like 11 other armies. We're actually 12 out of 11 armies at the moment. How has that happened? Don't even know. By the way, bodyguard's really nice, so I can give that to somebody who needs it. Summer Wei already has a decent follower. What about this guy? Summer Wing K. We'll give him that to him. Oh, and he can get a decent weapon. Nice. Give him the war glaive. Most of these already have weapons, don't they? Well, I think most of my vanguards, yeah, they have the battle axes. Actually, these are champions, but yeah, the van the vanguards I think have spears anyway. Cool. So that's all fine. He's staying where he is. So let's come down here and we'll go and take the Dongwu salt mine. Alright, night battle and delegate. Wonderful. That is ours. Another settlement under our command. Uh, we're going to go and take the Kwai G. Imperial City. I just gotta remember to hand these all out. I don't want them. Alright, let's take the Jindu Lumber Yard. Just so many settlements being taken. She's going to go through to the Kwaiji livestock farm. Uh, 
Looks like she's going to have to run all the way around, though. I guess we can just march her there. And we'll have him go towards the Shan'an Lumberyard. She's leveled up. So we'll just put her with Diligence. Diligence is good. And she needs to keep moving. He got blocked then because I moved him out. Actually, I guess it doesn't matter. She's got enough men to take the livestock farm. It's fine. All right, let's go into Diplomacy. Uh, both of these are actually going to Song Wei. So let's trade territory. Jindu, Lumberyard. There you go. And uh, we'll add some money to sweeten the deal. Go. Your offer shows a clear mind. And um, we'll also give Song Wei Kuai Ji. A joy to see you. The Imperial City there. There you go. Goodwill stabilizes An extra 100. Very good. Right, so he can go into March and probably come down towards the Kwaiji rice paddy. Maybe he could just go and take the Kwaiji livestock farm. Not even that many more settlements here to take, actually. Uh, we are going to want to attack Sima Ai, though, and this is going to be a pretty significant battle. So let's hit Tianyu, and that's going to draw out pretty much everyone. Uh, we have... The first army to deal with, and then it's just going to be the reinforcements inside the settlement, plus the garrison forces. Uh, let's fight it as a night battle. Actually, let's not do it a night battle. I guess actually maybe we could. Actually, yeah, let's night battle this in order to kill those three leaders. And then we will play the, the settlement battle afterwards. I'll probably just have my cav charge at them. I could also just use my generals. I could lead the, the charge with the generals. Kind of fire it well on those trebuchets. There we go. I will just speed it up. Have them pick their targets. Alright, off you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> One down. <laughs> well, they're all very dead. She's actually going to survive for a little while, but uh, she's gone. She's a goner. I'm glad I didn't lose a single person. It looks like he got all three kills. The leader shows his worth. Alright, Tianyu. Coordinated, creative, and vigilant. I think we're going to take her on board. She's pretty good. Uh, the other two are dead. So let's now attack the trade port. And this one we can throw into a night battle. And we'll jump on in. So this is going to be a lot easier because they're going to be confined to the streets. And we can kill the towers nice and easy. Okay, uh, we'll move over to the left hand side and set up here as we usually do on this kind of map. Got plenty of ranged forces, so we'll have them be ready to go. Uh, a couple of them, do they have... Okay, this one has flaming shot, that's good. And these two can just stay behind the trebuchets with the, with the uh, crossbows. All right. Let's just have the rest of the men line up. If they sally forth, we can just run them forwards. But that's all good. 
Okay, uh, we'll start the battle. Run forwards with the Onyx Dragons, burn down the towers. Uh, these, I think I may as well just have them fire like straight into the archers of Ying here. That other army should be reinforcing, right? Unless they start inside the settlement. Not sure. Anyway, uh, we're getting close enough. Let's uh, throw a volley into that tower. Hopefully it burns it down. Yeah, looks like it. Good. And we're going to want to target the Saber Militia if they're all going to spread out. Okay, good. Let's now push those back. It doesn't look like they're going to sally forth. We're going to start moving forward with my infantry in the turtle formations. And once the towers are gone, we can make our move with our archers. Oh, I really need to stop them firing. Alright, the towers are gone. Let's get our men forwards. I actually don't need to be too far forwards with these, but we'll turn off fire at will for now. Because I probably just want to shoot, for example, these G Militia to death, for starters. Put a standard shot on. It will be faster. There we go. They only just gone into loose formation. Okay. <laughs> sure. Let's just uh, keep moving forwards. Get my leaders forwards. That's a good idea. I might be able to duel them actually. Because I did give this guy the Sovereign of Blades. So he's going to be pretty damn good. Oh, those crossbows trying to kill my next dragons. Not good. We're doing plenty of damage there. Those arch militia aren't really lasting too long. Looks like they're gonna route pretty quickly. Oh, that's good. Uh, we'll target that arch militia. Those ones can keep hitting the crossbows for now. Okay, let's just move these up a little bit further. That arch militia. Damn. <laughs> Went down to 18 men before they routed. I don't know why they're so different. I guess maybe because some are under the commander. So, and that might be just like retinue bonuses rather than army bonuses. Not sure. Either way. I should probably start putting some dots into here with the trebuchet. Uh, that's those archers dealt with, more or less. Uh, let's actually target the G militia there on that right hand side. Uh, some of those trebuchet shots are really good. Alright, stop the firing. Uh, we do actually have shots coming over from the crossbows there. We'll hit the archer captain. The archer captain can't actually spread out. Uh, I think these crossbows might not be able to either. They'll be part of the uh, the garrison. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to start moving forward some of our infantry to force them to engage us as well. Well, that tower's got set alight. Great. So it's looking good, our forces moving in uh, towards their towers. I'm going to have to stop these firing so they don't waste too much ammunition. Uh, these can actually move back so they're not engaged by the mounted archers. And we'll move these across so they stop being shot at by that tower. Alright, here we go. Wow, they're all coming in. Oh, she died. <laughs> she just charged into our Imperial Guards, got stuck in the middle of them, and then just got killed. Oh, he died as well. <laughs> they both died. It's because they're so, so low on health. <laughs> it's rather amusing, though. Just absolute suicide. Alright, if they engage with more units, we can actually just flood the engagement with our own archers. Alright, can I move up my leaders here? We can use the adamant resolve. Good. Using the tunnel formation like this looks really cool. Like how the front line like uses the protection, but then like swings forwards whenever they get a chance. Very cool. Right, let's uh, kill off that archer unit. I'm going to kill off those mounted archers as well. If they let me. <laughs> there is still these two archers back here that I'm going to have to deal with at some point. Uh, but these lot... Uh, let's now focus on this engagement. We'll just tell our archers to hit the G militia at the back. And hopefully they'll just fire up and over. Or if they just fire kind of straight like this, it's not too bad. Because we do have the range protection from the turtle. We're going to get plenty of kills. It's going to be pretty disgusting. Another general fell into the trap. Charged straight in. Oh, and here we go. The uh, the archers are coming forwards. Alright, let's uh, focus on those fresh units of archers. And we'll get the trebuchets to fire through them as well. Great. That worked out really well, actually. Right, those may as well fall back. The trebuchets here are going to be getting loads of kills. Oh my, as long as they stay straight. Oh dear. That is just so much damage.
Again, a really nice volley from the trebuchets. We can use Adamant Resolve. Front line of Imperial Guards there still holding on. Just see those men go flying. Alright, let's uh, just engage those Sabre Infantry in the main engagement. Right, I might dismount these guys. And we'll have them run in. <laughs> I love the way that the uh, Imperial Guards like all move out the way like that. It looks so cool. What's the melee evasion on these guys? For 54% and 46%. They almost go up to 100% when he uses his ability. And the other thing we can do is we can take these out of turtle formation now and probably just push in aggressively. Right, there we go. Adamant Resolve again. And he's up to what? 78%. He's up to 90%. Yeah, so they'll kill off the rest. And we've run out of ranged ammunition for the most part. I could bring the cataphracts around the side, maybe. And we might lose a few of them to the towers, though, trying to do that. And honestly, these guys might end up finishing off these units beforehand. Because we're going to cause them to suffer army losses soon when they all just start running away. My leaders have just absolutely caned them. They barely lost any health doing it. Yeah, there we go. It's going to be victory. As the cataphracts roll round the side. We'll end it before we lose too many of them, but... This glorious cav. Alright, 851 kills for the Onyx Dragons. Oh my. Doesn't get much better than that. And he made good use of that sword. Okay, well, I'm probably just going to release him. Hua Jinting. He's perceptive, sincere, honorable, and enigmatic. Uh, let's employ her. And we'll occupy this element. Okay. So that's going to be the last army of Sima Ai, I think. Uh, but we're going to give this element to Fang Guan. And then we can give him the rest of the settlements there as well. Great. Alright, trade territory. Uh, that is the Nanhai trade port. Here you go. 5,000. Great. Strong foundations are built on such Why is our attitude with them really low? Like, I've been giving him settlements nearly every turn. Uh, we're going to give him Tong An as well, so we can hopefully give that to him now. Welcome, friend. Yep, we can. Brilliant. Uh, make payment of 5,000. Let's just get it up to th plus 30. There we go. Your offer shows a clear mind. A welcome sight. Then I'll give him the other bit of Tongan, Toolmaker. Wonderful. Goodwill stabilizes relations. And we're also going to give him Hu Wan. So it's his lucky day. Welcome, friend. That's a small regional. Is the other one just gonna actually let's just do this separately? Just so that I can sort of build up my relations better. 
for the long run. Strong foundations are built. I was going to do both in the same deal, but I think this way is better. Guan Livestock Farm. Add 5,000. There you go. An offer to be cherished. Alright, that's about it. That's all we're really giving him. Uh, we're also going to give him the Luling Lumber Yard at some point. But yeah, I guess I could just give him a war coordination target for that. A welcome sight. Okay, why is he not at war? Talk to the Jin Empire. Surely we're at war. Do we have to? Can we call in? No. We must already be at war. Why couldn't I do war coordination target? Bungguan. A joy to see you. He is at war with the Jin Empire. Hmm. Weird. Alright, well, Commander contested. Tong An, that's all fine. We've just given that all away. Food's currently at four. And would you look at that? Our domain's back to normal. Whoa. <laughs> it's been a while. We got there. Uh, well, we're going to go back into normal movement here just to replenish on the way up to the Yishu Lumber Yard. Um, this is all fine now. Gu Zhen's done his job. That's great. What about this army? They're going to take the Wudu Copper Mine. Okay. Night Battle Delegate. I'm going to have to go and attack the other guy. Oh, Zhu Yan. So who gets Wu Du then? I, maybe I give Wu Du to Xing Jing Li and just give Xing Jing Li like all of this land up here. I hand off Jiha to Samadan. Because then there's more of a geographical border there between Fang Guan, or sorry, uh, Samadan and uh, Shang Zheng Li. And what else do we need to move? Uh, he's staying there for one more turn, I reckon. And this army can go back into normal stance as it moves up. Because we need that replenishment. Ooh, Sima Liang has leveled up to level 9. Well, been a while, but he's got there. I guess pushing authority would be useful. Making him unbreakable. You can also give him the Stone Bulwark ability. That's pretty useful. The Tenacity of Steel is pretty nice. Plus four food production if the character is advisor, air or faction leader. Abundance. That's pretty useful. I'm actually going to pick that up. This is up to eight food. Also the one after that that increases melee attack rate is really nice for him. I think they can go up to level 10. But it's a long way off. <laughs> Another 90,000 experience roughly. <laughs> wow. Okay, so at least everybody's going to be happy now. I could probably start taxing Baxi again. Although saying that, maybe we don't want to, just so that we can get that back to a higher public order sooner than later. Same with Runan, as well just leave them. Because it's not like I need the money. We've got 54k from tributaries right now. 
<laughs> so tax is barely half our income. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Okay. So... Do I want to do anything to these settlements? That one we maxed out already. Yangshu, we don't want to do anything there. Okay. Let's end the turn. Although we do have an administrator position free. Okay. We also got the match Jan, which is quite nice. Plus nine instinct, but minus six expertise. Who would be a good administrator? Let's have a look, shall we? We'll go through these. So he would be pretty good, but he doesn't have intuition. Any sentinel with all of the ones at the bottom filled out would be the best. That aren't already an administrator. The Macha, or Shichao, there we go. He'd be perfect. He's the central army protector at the moment. Well, <laughs> now he's going to be an administrator. Where would he administrate? That's the other thing we got to ch check up on. So Nanyang has one. Shang Yang has one. Dong Lai, is, I think, is the one that needs one. Uh, Guang Ling, Xing Ling, Eng Dong. And Runan. Runan makes quite a lot of money when it's not taxed, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could add another 4.8k to our income. Why not? That would actually be the highest. If it is if it is taxed. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Four. Where's our fifth administrator? Five. Yangshu. Oh yeah, we gave the toolmaker away. Okay. So Dong Lai would be a good place. Or Guang Ling. One of the two. Doesn't really matter all that much. They both have farmland. And they both create extra food. So I think Dong Lai is probably just the better one for now. We'll do Dong Lai. Where is he? Chi <laughs> Chao. There he is. Confirm. Uh, was it Dong Lai we're going to go for? Confirm. Wonderful. Right, nothing else to do. We boosted food a little bit with that administrator, which is nice. Oh, assignments is something we need to keep an eye on. Uh, didn't we have an assignment that was increasing food? That I should probably keep up. Yep, we did. Okay, uh, which one's creating the most food? Bingling. Assignments. Get the food in there. <laughs> Actually, that's not making the most food, actually. It's just net gain is the highest. So that's kind of awkward. I'm going to have to do some maths. That's annoying. That's like 58. That's more. That's like 68. A lot of these are quite simple. I mean, Dong Lai is the best so far. 
Oh, that's 72. Yangzhou. Alright. Time to get some food. Uh, Yangzhou. Okay, cool. Job done. Uh, let's go into the armies. I think that's all done. Uh, there is one more assignment, but I'm not going to bother. Let's just move on to the next turn. Like, where's Sima I going with that army? They better not make me chase them. It'd be really annoying. Because I need to kill the faction in order to win the campaign. We'll get the ultimate victory. Oh, the two armies are coming straight through to our land. Oh dear, I didn't see that. Well, looks like we're going to lose some of Shangdong. <laughs> There's just so many armies around. And it looks like Zheng Zheng Li is going to have a bad time up there. Oh well. We'll break down the Jin Empire over time. Like these lands of Shangdong that have been at peace for so long now are finally coming under attack. Right, Tianyu, ready for duty, and Hua Jinting. Uh, understanding and uncomplicated, not bad. Rivals, relationship lost, and a wooden dog. Great. <laughs> uh, let's have him come down the river. Some way. I am going to have to be careful moving too far forwards. I might have to just go into ambush stance here somewhere. Because otherwise uh, we're going to get double teamed. We'll go ambush stance for now. Maybe the army will come out of Luoyang and we can kill it. I am going to move towards the Jiha regional city. We'll give that to Samadan. I may as well just march towards it. Get them before Simadan does. Right here, we're going to move through and hopefully attack the Dong U large regional city soon, but I guess I'll just move to the border. Ruan Shen has Shan An. We're giving Dong U to Ruan Shen, aren't we? So let's go ahead and do that. Also, I should look at quick deals. <laughs> there aren't any. <laughs> Just peace. Peace is the only quick deal we can do. Welcome. Come in. Trade territory. Dong Ru. Salt mine. There you go. Uh, and we'll throw in 5,000. Push that up to plus 15. There we go. A kind and considered offer. Okay, and I think I'm just going to push straight on. Right here, it's going to take us a couple turns to get to Jishu, but I don't know if I want to let him replenish, so I might just. I was going to say siege that, but I can't in normal stance anyway. We'll just zoom on past. Zoom, zoom. And this guy can come up and attack that. Okay, we have this army coming down. And this army going round. And that's going to be the Jin Empire mopped up here. Uh, this army, I'm not going to chase Sima Ai. I'm just going to zoom up towards the Lingling Ling Lumber Yard. Make sure that Fang Guan gets that. Right, over here, and uh, we're getting ever closer to the Yishu Lumber Yard. Stay in our territory for this turn. So the next turn we can attack, but we have the replenishment this turn. Uh, this guy, good old Sir Mayu, and friends can head towards uh, Shangdong. Alright, time to go and wipe out Zhu Yan. We'll go and sit in our territory down here. 
And I might go into ambush stance. Okay. Where have we leveled up? Jin and Jin has leveled up. Go to precision. Good. I should probably take away like any ancillaries we're not using on these characters. It's in my fan here. He has so much stuff that we could use. Why haven't I done this sooner? I guess it's not a big deal, but... Yeah, we probably should have done this already. I think most of them won't have anything anyway. It'll just be some of the ones that we picked up along the way. Sima Pu, Yu Kang, Sima Jun, Sima Di Ju. This is so many. We have so many characters right now. A lot of them are our uh, new sons and daughters as well. That have come of age. They won't have anything. I want that clay rat, thank you very much. We are taking everything. Okay, that's it. So now what we'll do is like as we go, we will hand out that stuff. Right, let's have a look at our settlements. Don't think there's anything else to do really. Uh, the only thing that's being pointed out for the most part is like negative public order, but it's all good. Let's move on to the next turn. Uh, we might get attacked somewhere by the Jin Empire, like lose a settlement or two, but it's fine. I think we're pretty much set to take the rest of the settlements on the right side in one turn. This is your last chance for peace. <laughs> Not really my last chance, it's your last chance. Uh, if we negotiate, will they take cooperation? <laughs> Never. Don't reject. <laughs> Greed is an ugly trait. To be fair, a lot of people like the Jin Empire. Oh, goodbye army. <laughs> I think that was poor young one G's army. They gave him a good go. Oh, the ambush failed. Alright, well. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. My 100% ambush failed. So now we're having to defend against the Jin Empire who's coming at us with a sizable army. Hopefully we can uh, wipe them out, but I reckon if we lose this, we'll probably get attacked, or not, sorry, not lose. If we win this, uh, we will probably get attacked by again, because I think there's by another army again, because I think there's another one on the river nearby. But yeah, either way guys, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Okay,